The first foot I really want to share with you is the general sewing foot. And this is the foot that's going to come on your machine straight out of the box. So here you can see the standard sewing foot. It's pretty typical of what comes with most machines. It's got a nice wide opening around the needle so that way you can zigzag stitch with this. You can actually do pretty much all of the uh, decorative stitches. There's only a few that come with this machine, but this foot is designed to do them all. So keep that in mind whenever you're using it. It does have an equal amount of space to the left and right of the needle so you can kind of use that edge as a guide. You'll notice that right now I'm using the needle plate, the markings on the needle plate as a guide to help me stitch my seam allowance accurately. And that's actually very useful. Um, kind of some interesting marks on that needle plate, but uh, very, very useful overall. Okay, the next foot I want to share with you is the zipper foot. I actually set in the first zipper in four years on the back of this halter top, and it went really, really well. This is a very well-designed foot. So let's learn how to use it. So here is the zipper foot and you can see that I've lined it up and I'm stitching as close as I can to the metal part of my zipper. And what the foot does is it has a cut out portion underneath the foot uh, that is up on top of the metal section and then it has a very close area to the needle. So it's a pretty much a perfect guide for stitching on zippers and attaching them to your garments. I know most quilters don't do a lot of garment sewing but it is nice every once in a while to be able to attach a zipper or stitch a buttonhole whenever it's needed. And this is a very well designed foot. Um, I certainly didn't have very much trouble attaching this zipper and it's the first one I've done in about four years. One last thing about the zipper foot, I actually used this to edge stitch a lot of my halter top when I was creating it. So that way I created a nice uh, kind of finished seam as I was stitching the, this, this garment. Uh, I would say it's very, very useful foot and has many different things that you can do with it uh, other than just stitching on zippers. So the next foot I want to share with you is the buttonhole foot. We're going to put a very, very quick buttonhole together and you can see how this foot works. The first step to your buttonhole is to click over to the A1 stitch. This is going to stitch the first section of your buttonhole. Then you're going to pull up your thread and starting from the bottom of the marked line of your buttonhole, uh, simply drop your presser foot and then zigzag stitch on up. And it's pretty clear. Um, all you really need to do is just stitch the start and end for where you want your buttonhole to go and then just simply stitch up from the bottom to the top. The next step is to click on over to the A2 stitch. Go back and you're going to zigzag over for a few stitches to lock the top. Then you're going to switch over to the A3 stitch and go all the way back down. And you want to make sure that you line up back with uh, the start of the button. It's kind of one of those tricky things to kind of get used to, but if anything, mark a wide line so that way you can see where you're going. Then click back over to the A4 stitch and you're going to uh, zigzag over to lock the opposite side. And whenever you pull that off the machine, this is what it looks like. It produces a very nice buttonhole. All you have to do is clip it open and it's ready to go. All right, the last foot is the rolled hem foot. And this is a really cool foot because it produces a perfectly rolled, very narrow hem on the edge of any garment. It's a little tricky to get used to, but I'm sure you're going to really dig this foot. So this is the rolled hem foot. I'm going to quickly pop this onto the machine. All of the four feet that come with this machine are quick change feet, meaning they just simply snap onto this base by pressing a lever and uh, popping them on just like that. Very, very simple. To stitch a rolled hem, first I'm going to lock a couple stitches in place uh, just simply to get, the, kind of get my thread out of the way and then also help me be able to stitch this rolled hem. I'm going to use the hand wheel to turn the needle into the down position and then lift the presser foot and roll the edge of the fabric up into the foot. It has kind of a curly cue kind of shape on that foot and you're just simply rolling the fabric uh, sideways. Uh, up and to the left and I'm lining up the raw edge of the fabric with the left side of that foot. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from the angle that I'm in but I'm pointing right there you can see where I'm taking the edge of that fabric right to that corner and if you line it up right there the foot will do all the rest of the work for you. It will actually curl the fabric up and then 
have it perfectly in place for your needle to stitch over. And what you get is a perfectly finished edge. This is the perfect edge to use on delicate fabrics, uh, any kind of organzas or uh, very uh, soft kind of silky kind of fabrics. I really like using a rolled hem rather than any other type simply because it's a lot easier. Uh, and here's what it looks like. It's just a very nice uh, trimmed edge and it's very easy to do with the proper foot. So that is it for all the general sewing and piecing on the Janome HD1000. I hope you've enjoyed this video and are able to see the basic features that this machine comes with and how it works. It is a good little sturdy workhorse and I've enjoyed playing with it for the last couple of weeks. Next week I'm going to share a video on piecing on this machine. While I can't use any of the standard feet for piecing, I do have a solution with a generic piecing foot that will work just fine. So until next time, let's go quilt.